Hi everybody. So this is essentially how you're going to feel and everything that is going to happen when you start packing for college. So everybody thinks like, oh, packing for college, it's like awesome and fun and amazing. And like while it is and like your feelings for going to school are like exuding out of your body and you're going absolutely berserk and insane, um, your house will start to look like a bomb shelter because you will have stuff spread out everywhere. And also the question is, do you know what you really want to bring with you to school? Like, oh yes, I definitely want to bring this, but you know what? I haven't worn this in a while, but I'm still going to bring it with me. Don't do that, because if you haven't worn it in probably, let, let's say, the last six to eight months, chances are you're not going to end up wearing it at school. Don't think that when you go to college, you're going to become a completely and totally different person, because while that may be possibly true for some of you for the first week or two, after that, you're going to go right back to your old ways. Like, if you like being in your room when you're at home, you will be in your room all the time at school. If you don't like being in public places, you're not going to like being, or like, you're not going to like sitting in the cafeteria or sitting in the library for long periods of time. When, then, not when, then there are other people that like thrive off of being around people, surrounded by people all the time. And that personality is going to come through and that's going to happen like your first day of school. Or like your first few weeks of school. So, today I'm going to show you everything that I am bringing to school and everything that I think you guys would bring and should bring to school. So starting off, I'm going to go into the handheld part. So you are going to need an obscene amount of underwear, undershirts to sleep in and or just kind of chill out in in your room, socks. This is in case you guys like to go to the gym. I am a person that goes to the gym every single day when I'm at school, so socks are like a necessity. Also you want some cute socks that you can wear with boots and um, just other socks that you may want to walk around in or like wear with your sneakers. Then you need to bring bras. This is for girls, and if you're a guy watching this, I'm sorry for my lingerie. <laughs> then over here, I have a whole bunch of like my Kayo shirts and everything that I will wear when I'm at school. And then I have all of my workout gear as well. Now, my mom has the idea of putting everything onto a rolling rack because she's like, that's a great idea, you'll be able to organize everything, and she's right. So when it comes to this, having thin felt hangers like these is very nice because you can fit a lot more into your wardrobe, and if you're going to school far away, that's a, <laughs> a really big necessity because you're not going to be able to come home often at all. You'll be able to come home for holidays, and that's about it. So having these thin felt hangers is going to help you out a lot when it comes to fitting a lot of stuff into your wardrobe. And when it comes to girls, us girls, we like to have a lot of clothing. So this year, I have more like fancy stuff, I guess you could say, than non-fancy stuff. Because last year, I didn't really like the mold that I fell into because I was wearing like college kid stuff and that's not my personality at all so I decided to go with this and have more fancy stuff that I could wear, stuff I could wear to chapter and just stuff that made me look nice and not like baggy sweatpants. So that's my personality. If you guys like wearing stuff that's all sweatpants and everything then go for it. And you're also going to need clothing for going out. Yes, you're going to college which means that you're going to end up going out. So, you're going to need some black dresses because if you are the type that wants to go out and have a good time, then you're going to need some tight clothes. And I'm not saying like you have to, but chances are that you will want to have some of them. So, this is just an overview of clothing that you might want to take with you. Guys, have a Keurig. Definitely get a box of coffee because your dining hall coffee may or may not be good, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Also, um, my sweet mate is bringing a Keurig, but last year I brought my own. Now, I got the small one and I did not use it as much as I thought I would, so if you want to do the Keurig, I would recommend doing the bigger size because chances are you'll end up using it more. Then over here I have some cotton balls and some cotton pads because it's going to be for taking off my nail polish as well as for taking off my makeup. So I have um, nail polish remover, I have rubbing alcohol, a hair dryer which is dependent on if you guys actually blow dry your hair or not or if you just let it air dry, a straightener, a curling iron, another curling iron, a hairbrush, um, acne medication because when you guys go to school, um, the water is different every 
like in every single state and in every single part of every single state. So just make sure that you bring an acne medication with you because chances are your skin may act up the first few months there because your skin is adjusting to the water. I also have some moisturizer. As we all know, moisturizing is very important. Cool to have a planner and you're like, yeah, it's so cute, I'm gonna carry it around and never ever use it. In college, you use your planner a lot. And especially me, like I write everything in my planner. It's basically my life. So then also a whiteboard because that's nice for writing down quick notes for yourself. Then I have some pencils as well as some pens, a small pencil case because you don't really need that many pens and pencils in college, it's not like every other class. Um, chances are you'll be typing a lot more things. I also have a cork board which is very good because you can post up everything that they slide under your door at school or if you find something, it's like an event you want to go to, then definitely use a cork board for that. I also made little pom-pom uh, push pins, so you guys can go check that out. That's in the same one as the DIY school supplies video. It is going to be very, very important to have a pair of sunglasses on your campus, no matter what campus you are on, no matter what state you are in. Sunglasses are a must. Also, make sure you bring a wallet, and bring a wallet that you know you will keep track of, and you're gonna have to keep like your school ID in there, um, a debit card if you have one, um, your driver's license, because you, you're gonna want everything all in one spot so that everything isn't scattered about. Um, this case right here I use for any of my medical supplies, like I have a whole bunch of Advil and cold and head. Um, guys, make sure that you get like Alka-Seltzer but not airborne, there we go. Um, bring airborne with you to school because if one person gets sick in your room, you will most definitely get sick, as well as the rest of the campus because everything travels crazy at school. Now this little clapboard right here is my iPad and I'm bringing that this year as like a new thing because I am bringing my laptop as well but if there are certain classes where I will only have to search for something I'll bring my iPad instead of lugging my laptop with me across campus because it's a lot lighter but this is dependent on whether or not you want an iPad and or if you have an iPad. Then this speaker right here is a portable speaker. This is like the number one thing I think that you should have at school because everybody listens to music and it's everybody's way of escaping. So if you have a little speaker then you can blast music like you do at home or you can control it and it's just a nice way to get people to come together as well. So then over here I have some hair ties and I just kind of keep them in this green pouch because I use a lot of hair ties when I'm at school. Razors, obviously. Then, when it comes to bags, um, you're gonna want a small crossbody just so that you have everything kind of close to you if you're ever going out and you don't want to carry a big bag. But then, I'm like really, really into bags, so I bring quite a lot of bags with me, like for school. So, I have this little black crossbody, which is bigger than this one. This is like my going out bag, and then this is like a daytime bag that I want to use if I don't feel like having an over the shoulder bag, like this one. Also, if you guys have a long shot bag, that's a really good backpack. Also, it stands up to a lot of different weather types. So if it's raining outside one day and you don't want everything to get ruined, if you take that, um, chances are it won't get wet on the inside. So that's a good bag to think about getting. They also make cheaper versions of these and you can get those online. I think they're about like $19, $20. So that's a good price for a bag that will end up saving all of the belongings inside of it. What else you guys will need is gonna be a coffee cup in case you wanna have some coffee and or hot chocolate or whatever tickles your fancy whenever you are at school. So a cold cup is very necessary because it's gonna be like if you want to bring some water with you to class or some juice or some iced coffee or something, you can have it in here and it's also nice because you can just have it in your room. I am super into doing crafts and things, so I'm gonna have a little craft box. Also, we have shelving that is more like a bookcase, so this is gonna be like on the bottom of the bookcase, and it's just nice because little bins like this are good for organizing, and you can also stack on top of them if you have the lids for them. I personally don't need the lid because I'm just gonna take all the stuff out of it and just leave it open like this. And then this is a little basket that I'm either going to put on my bookshelf or keep in the bathroom depending on how much space we have. And this is essentially like all I really need. I have some rubbing alcohol, nail polish remover, my moisturizer, my acne, um, medication thing wash, and some razors. And that's not to mention what is going to be in my shower caddy, which is going to be like my shampoo, my conditioner, my body wash, my loofah, my pumice stone, like all that stuff, and including my shower shoes. Those are all going to be inside of my... Um, shower caddy which is going to be held in the bathroom 
And then in this basket, um, because I paint my nails a lot, I have all of my nail polish as well as some stick-ons, a uh, file, and just a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to go on my bookshelf. So this is what a mattress topper is, and I got the Tempur-Pedic one because college beds tend to not be as comfortable as you would hope that they would be. Um, if you end up buying one of these brand new, make sure that you open it. I like how I'm like panting, I'm out of breath. Huh. Make sure that you open it prior to um, using it. It has to be out of the plastic bag and box that it comes in for at least 24 hours before you actually sleep on it. So try doing that before bringing it to school with you just because Otherwise, you're gonna have fumes and things and it's not fun. This is another thing that you can use for bringing all of your clothing with you and then you can just kind of bring them home. And it's literally gonna be like a little caravan out the door and into the car. Okay, another thing. If you guys have a printer and you are bringing a printer with you to school, it is probably a good idea to, one, make sure it's compatible with your computer, and two, set it up before you get to school so that you alleviate some time and some stress at school so like you can have your parents here to ask them questions and just get everything figured out before you actually have to write a paper and print it at uh, your convenience. So right now I'm downloading it. It says, oh, seven hours. That's a long time. Um, Eight hours. Okay, it said 30 minutes before. So see, this is why you have to do it before you go to school. Yay. This pair I wore to no end, and also it's like my going out pair of shoes, so that's why they look grimy and gross and disgusting. And then this pair is nice and clean and pristine because my mom got them for me because I wore holes in the other ones. So I'm bringing three pairs of boots with me. Mom um, is awesome. Mom is, yes, my mom is awesome. <laughs> so is your mom. Um, I'm bringing a pair of sneakers with me, obviously, because I'll be going to the gym. Then these shoes I'll probably end up wearing to chapter. I'm bringing my reefs because as much as I try to get a pair of like cute shoes that aren't reefs, I always go back to them. I'm bringing these because they go along with the whole like sorority preppy thing and they go with a lot of my shirts. Um, those silver shoes are very comfortable and they're like more on the pretty side. Same with those silver bow shoes. This is a clothes, clothes, closed toed pair of closed toed yes that makes sense pair of shoes that I'll be bringing just for more casual stuff um, those I can also wear to chapter and those Sperry's are like higher up so those are two more pairs of my nicer shoes and so it may seem like a lot of shoes but it depends on where you're going to school and how long you're staying there for so those are all the shoes and no that skull case in the back is not going with me that was just a failed art project so if you are going somewhere where it rains a lot it is probably a good idea to get a pair of rain boots now I got a pair of hunters because I don't really plan on wearing any more rain boots than just one pair because I like to have one good pair of shoes that I can run into the ground and wear for forever, which is why I got these. So if you are going somewhere, like if you're going to school in London, I recommend that you bring a pair of hunters with you, um, or just a pair of any rain boots that are comfortable and easy to slip on and wear with pants. So another tip. If you guys are going to have a wardrobe at school or hanging space, which I'm assuming you will, it is probably a good idea to keep all of your clothing hanging and then bring it in garbage bags or with like garment bags, whatever you have at your convenience, and just kind of plop them right into your wardrobe when you get to school. That's what I did last year thanks to my mom's idea and my roommates were all very jealous. So I didn't have to waste like 45 minutes hanging all of my clothing.